Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to continue where we left off from our last video here in The Witcher 3. And we're going to meet with Yennefer and the Lodge of Sorceresses here in Dandelions in upstairs. And higher upstairs. Oh, the series there. Geralt. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. About they don't bite. Either. Don't waste any time, do they? I don't like this. Neither do I. I bet they have plans for me, and they're deigning to inform me of them. Deploying went there to protect her from them, or letting her go in there on her own, and maybe she thinks she's incapable things on her own. We're gonna let her go on her own. I trust her to know what she needs to do. Got nothing to be afraid of. Just go. Listen to what they have to say. And if they try to force me into something? Can't believe you'd ever let them. Margarita's only ever cared about your education. Doubt she'll try to drag you into politics. Philip is tougher, plays a mean game. But ultimately respects those who hold to their views. If she makes you an offer and you firmly turn it down, she'll respect that. Thanks, Geralt. Well, go. Don't give him any more time to strategize. You got this, Siri. Not going with her. Can't hold her hand if they're going to take her seriously. True. Good decision. Surprised she's not in there. Don't worry, she'll be fine. <laughs> she's making me nervous. Calm down. You'll wear a hole in the floor. I'll calm down once she comes out. Siri's been in tougher situations and come out of them all right. True. We managed to instill some principles, skills that have helped. Exactly. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Of course. I'll just have a peek. <laughs> Stop spying. Expected as much fun. Thought you didn't have to go. <laughs> Don't spy on her. You really have that little faith. I don't trust Philippa and Rita. So why do you even allow this meeting to happen? For the same reason you did. If they're to respect her, she can't be seen to be hanging on to my apron strings. What do you see? Let me see. <laughs> oh, what do you see? Philippa pontificating. Siri pacing wall to wall. She stopped. She's saying something. Philippa's turned pale. Bravo, Siri. What now? Quiet. Here she comes. So? <laughs> you were eavesdropping. Yes. No. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. If you want to be alone, what happened? Tell us. Tell us what you talked about. I'd rather not. Not yet, at least. Of course. When you're ready. I must unwind. I'll go for a walk. Foot in mouth, as usual. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just wanted to. Go meet Avala. He wished to see you around. Told her not to spy. Ooh, a new level up. Nice. That's a lot of experience points. All right, so that completes the last part on preparation. Well, I mean the second to the last, I guess. But I mean the last on the list. Um, so 
now we gotta speak to Apollon. Just through here. Yeah. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote him her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. What you got in mind, be straight with me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. How do you know it was Eredin? Who knows this? Think Gilles would betray Eredin. Yeah, how does he know? How do you know? Or are you bluffing? Eredin made sure very few individuals knew of his betrayal. Most are now dead. Didn't answer my question. How matters not. What matters is, I know. And I have an idea how to use this knowledge. Think you can make a deal with Gills, or what do you intend to do? I haven't mentioned killing Gills. Such drastic means are not always necessary. So you probably plan to offer him a deal. Brilliant deduction. Bravo. What do you intend to do? I'd rather kill Gills than make a deal. Let's hear him. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gells here? Show him the truth of what happened. Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Uh, what do you mean? To get, or how do you mean to get there? Land of the NL? What's that? Land of the NL? You don't recall. After all, you did travel with Eredin for some time. The land of the Elder Folk. The world where we arrived centuries ago. A world that is now our home. The Red Riders come from there. And it is there where we will find Miguel. Forget that Geralt was a part of that. It's, it's like with the connection with the books and like where it comes to here. Um, yeah, how do you mean? I think to get you're there? forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me, not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course. Few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go now. Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Okay, final preparations is probably done now. So now we're playing in time and space. Or maybe final preparation isn't done yet. I gotta go down. The passage is here, past this wall. The passage is here, past this wall. And that portal, huh? Great. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. I'll never never. I hate portals. <laughs>
meteors or comets in the sky? Where are we? Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, you must go. close planets or moons what is this place a very old world thoroughly raped and destroyed anything live here mainly desert creatures able to survive months on end without water oh and large sand crabs beneath the surface we must be careful they don't sense us and before were there any people or elves do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Damn. But life kind of found a way. Something came from after that happened, you know? Something from nothing. This looks like straight out of like a sci-fi game. Like Starfield or Mass Effect or something. When he was saying Sam Krebs, I was thinking Doom, so I was walking all crazy. Ah. The portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. Uh -oh. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. I'll go first. Have a look. That's gonna be a time where he's gonna be alone. There it is. There's a portal. It looks like a place of power over there. Papers don't look terribly inviting. <laughs> Suffocated. Yeah, stay above it. This is crystallized essence. 
Sounds like there's some creatures here. <coughs> I'm dead out. somewhere and I gotta find that next passage quick if I can just find cover along the way I should make it to the passage marked by the exodus ah. ain't nothing to shield against it huh any potion or decoction to help against the cold.
fuel before we go down there. Uh, the portal's probably in that tower back there. Come on, girl. Snowboard down there. No, it's the worst part, the all-encompassing quiet. Seem there is not a living soul around, only snow, snow everywhere, snow. As far as I can see, though, sometimes we find people still alive in their homes. Everyone is hungry, everyone is frozen to the bone, but no one refuses to help. They let us warm ourselves by their fire and regain some strength before we move on. Towards the lighthouse, they save food supplies there have not yet run out. Damn. and wasteland. Light in a place like this? Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Not what we will do. Our food stocks ran out long ago, save for one sack of onions. For a week, we have each eaten a few bites of onion a day and nothing else. The children once detested onions, but now gobble their morsel greedily and suck on the skins. Soon our bag will be empty. We have no f no water fuel, and the snows keep falling. The mayor has been sending men door to door to hand out modest rations and a bit of wood from the lighthouse storeroom, but no one has come for days. I'm not surprised. Snow is piled nearly to the top of our windows. No one could get to our door. I am afraid, so horribly afraid, that we will not outlast this winter. Sucks. But the fire heals. time of the year the flowers should be in full bloom but instead snow covers all springs clearly going to be late food will be dear soon that's certain 12th of place it's colder and colder snow has been falling non-stop for 37 days now folk don't even bother clearing in anymore 
There are no more streets, only tunnels dug through the snow. 21st of Fan. The snow is, never stops falling. Our larder is bare. At least we can melt snow to slake our thirst. Though I don't know how long our wood will last. For now, we're alive. It just gets worse and worse. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Mm, no. Just taking in the sights. <laughs> what is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridin start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Got a lot to ask. That light on the peak. Put it there? Light on the peak? Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. True. We'll ask him everything. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. This one. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek, but I still don't know why it's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Great. Mysterious as always. Well, let's go. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. Alright everyone, we're going to go ahead and stop here. And during our next video, we're going to continue the quest through space and time by traveling to the next world, which hopefully is to this Gales guy. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. 
Thanks for watching this video today from Chunky Slot Gaming. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more playthroughs and future gameplay content. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow us on social media, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. And as always, thanks for hanging around, and we'll see you on the next one.